Welcome back to part four of my uh, first YouTube playthrough of Last Frontier, the Vesuvius incident. Part three ended with uh, Krauss up in the astrophysics lab uh, killing an alien that killed her uh, team leader, Shanahan, and uh, with a claw attack. And we are on the human action phase of the next turn. Get that back here. Um, I changed the board up a little bit. I, I actually just played out uh, a little bit of the first, the uh, human action phase here, uh, off camera. So during the human action phase of a human action, yeah, human action phase of an explore turn, the player has Welcome free reign back to move to Marines about my, uh, anywhere uh, through any space occupied by humans. So we had people all the way up in the transport shuttle and the corridors were controlled by Marines engineering and astrophysics lab. So I basically moved everyone down. I've got a couple here, Garrison and Pruitt holding the corridor to the lift cars. In engineering, I have team three with a couple, one pilot, Cowan and Norton, a hacker from team one. And then up in the astrophysics lab, Krauss was joined by the remaining people on team two, as well as Coons um, from team one. So now we're going to plan out the rest of the turn, and I've got people positioned here to deploy into three spaces. The storage locker up in the astrophysics lab, the drive room where the ship's engines are, and then the spacesuit locker. So from a gameplay perspective, what I'm going to do is a suboptimal move. All three of these spaces have good reasons to avoid them, primarily because they are cluttered spaces. So the brown shading here on the edges of the spaces denote clutter. And if you draw aliens, an alien encounter, aliens are more likely to show up on cluttered spaces. So because all of those, all those spaces are cluttered, the Marines are more likely to have an alien land right on top of them, which is not good if the aliens get surprised. They're more likely, they're gonna attack. So not a great move, and also also because the rooms are so small, sometimes in a big room, the alien will spawn far enough away that it can't attack you even if it gets surprised. Here, if the alien gets surprised, it's most likely going to attack a human. So suboptimal move from a gameplay perspective, but I'm kind of playing this thematically here uh, from the view that the Marines are not going to leave uh, unexplored spaces behind them. They're going to cover everything and then move forward. So we are now going to enter the alien action phase and the only thing to do here is check for abduction and there is none because there's at least two active humans in every space. Orbit phase. So 11 to 10. Up here Kraus and Lazinski will deploy. I was going to actually start Lazinski there. And then Koinsky and Brooks will deploy into the drive room. Negative about the drive room is if you're shooting and you miss, uh, you have a chance to damage the ship's engines, which is not good. Okay, and then right here, we're going to deploy Baldwin and Pattison to the spacesuit locker. And that is the deploy phase, or deployment part of the orbit phase. Discovery phase. So we rolled a number for discovery in the astrophysics lab, and we got a three. First is a welding torch, and an item can be put on any space you like, so we're going to put that on Krauss's space there. Next, you drew an alien, and that rolls up on Lazinski's space. And the third token out of the drawback was the airlock open event. Uh, this is pretty interesting, since we have all of the crew is centered around engineering. Airlock open event. Uh, blasts open the main airlock here. Airlock open, main airlock, the ship's computer malfunctions, opens that. Engineering space is suffers decompression. So because these Marines are uninjured, they have whole spacesuits, um, and they are not affected by decompression. They're not going to be killed, but they are drawn two spaces toward the breach. So Norton will go one, two... And 
all other doors and hatches into the decompressed space automatically seal shut and will not open. So right now everyone is cut off from everyone else, which is not good in case there are aliens in the drive room or spacesuit locker. And of course the astrophysics lab itself is cut off from engineering. So we'll figure out how to resolve that uh, open airlock here in a bit. But let's move on. Oh, check up here in the astrophysics lab. And that alien does not get surprise on the humans. Next, we roll up for discovery an alien down here in the drive room. And it spawns on top of our two Marines there. And down here in the spacesuit locker, we roll for no event. So that's the end of the discovery phase. We're going to go into a combat turn when we start the human action phase on the next turn, and we will see how our Marines fare against those aliens. Okay, we're ready to start the combat turn of the neck of the human action phase. And one thing I wanted to clear up here: um, that alien uh, did check for surprise, and it did not surprise Koinsky and Brooks in the drive room. So anyway, we'll start back up here in the astrophysics lab. Um, Lazinski is going to double fire his pistol at that alien. He gets one hit uh, for no effect. And he, he's not firing in Krauss's direction, so don't have to check. It just uh, round slams into the wall, the missed shot. Krauss, um, I'm going to actually, she's going to double fire her assault rifle here. And I want to make sure that alien goes down. If they were in the same space, I probably would not use the assault rifle. Because if we did kill, get a kill result, then I'd have two Marines checking for an acid spray attack. So she double fires her assault rifle, and there's a negative modifier for Lazinski being in the space, and a negative modifier for double firing instead of taking a single controlled burst. However, she does get two hits, and one scores, actually both scored down results on the alien. So that alien is down. That was fortunate. Uh, Lazinski did risk there getting hit by a stray shot or um, suffering an acid spray attack. I should have moved these guys back. I already played out the turn and forgot to move a couple pieces back. Okay, down here, Koinsky in the drive room is going to double fire her pistol. I'm a, I'm a little more concerned here um, about using the assault rifle because, again, if there are two Marines in the same space as the alien. So a kill result is going to uh, subject both to an acid attack. She double fires her pistol, um, gets one hit for no effect, and the miss does not hit Brooks, and it slams into the, the uh, airlock door behind them. Brooks takes two shots, and again has a double uh, has a modifier for for uh, negative modifier for double firing, and then one for Koinsky being in the same space as him. However, he gets two hits, and one is a down result, which is what we want. So that alien is now down, and we are going to move Mo and Coons are going to move to that computer space, and then down here. Norton will move up to that computer space, and Cowan will move here. Uh, these two Marines are trapped in the spacesuit locker. Up here... Yep, we are done. So, that's the end of the human action phase. Alien action phase, we're going to check on a roll of a 1 to a 4. The alien is down. On a 5 or 6, the alien was merely stunned. We get lucky, alien up here is killed. The Marines check. It is now dead. And down here in the drive room, Koinsky and Brooks check, and that alien is dead as well. So, two fortunate rolls there. We don't have to worry about uh, alien getting up and surprising us and attacking. Let's see, we are... That was the alien action phase. Orbit phase. There is no orbit phase in a combat turn, and there's no discovery since we didn't move into any un unoccupied spaces. So, we are going back to start another turn. And I'm going to keep this at a combat phase so we will not move the turn track down, orbit timer down one. During a combat turn, the Marines can uh, try to ha make a hacking attempt, which is what they'll need to hopefully close the airlock here. Uh, we can do the same during an explore phase. 
and explore turn if we go to the orbit phase, but that's going to cost us a whole other turn on the track. So um, we're going to keep this uh, combat phase because it won't cost us a turn. And it's a little bit harder. Uh, we don't get as many positive modifiers to the roll, but we will try a hacking attempt here. So first, Krauss is going to pick up that welding torch and she'll put it in her inventory down there. Zinski and, and Cross will stay in that room and sorry in the uh, in the storage room. Koinsky and Brooks are going to stay there. There's nothing to do. They're trapped. Same for Baldwin and Pattison. Now Norton is going to make a roll and he gets a four and he gets plus three worth of die roll modifiers. We need a seven, so that's just a perfect number. So he makes a successful hacking attempt. Tells the ship's computer to close the airlock again. So airlock is closing as we speak and that is the end of the human action phase. Alien action phase, no one is alone in a space so no need to check for abduction. Orbit phase, no orbit phase in a combat turn and we're not doing discovery so we will close out this turn and start again on an explore turn.